So now we're going to install the Pixelcade software. So you want to go to, from your web browser, go to pixelcade.org and go to download. And right now we're going to install the Windows-based Pixelcade software. It also works on the Raspberry Pi, but we're just going to do Windows right now. So go here, click on the green download button. And that will download Pixelcade. It's over 300 megs, so it'll take a little bit to download. Once it's downloaded, let's just go ahead and double click to run it. And when it first runs, it's going to first install a, a separate program called LED Blinky. So let's go ahead and do that. LED Blinky is some plumbing that's required for Pixel K to work. So we definitely need to install that. Um, I recommend to stick it under your C drive, or if you have a D drive, put it under a D drive, but I'd recommend to stick it under the root just like this. So let's hit next. You don't need any plugins, so just take the defaults. Okay, so once that finishes, then Pixelcade is going to launch the Pixelcade installer. Now at this point, we need to tell it, do we have the LCD version of Pixelcade? If we do hit yes, if we don't, um, just if you're just doing Pixelcade LED, then just hit this one. And if you have both LCD and LED, then you'd also want to pick yes here. So let's just go ahead and hit yes. Um, same thing, if you have a D drive, I would recommend to stick it under the D drive because you probably have more space there. But if not, just stick it under the root and hit install. Now this, this part is going to take uh, anywhere from five to 10 minutes, depending on the speed of your computer. At this point, Pixelcade is installing a number of artwork files. So there's just a lot of files to go. So just let this run. Okay, so now when Pixelcade is getting towards the end, it's going to launch another setup wizard to install Pixelcade for your, your arcade front end. Because Pixelcade needs to know if you're using CoinOps or Hyperspin or GameX or LaunchBox or whichever one. So in this example, okay, then it's also going to launch a, a web, um, just a web page, just giving some instructions. So let's just go ahead and close that down. Let's finish this setup wizard so what it's going to do it's going to launch device manager you want to go over here you want to go to ports and you want to look for pixelcade on windows 7 which is what i'm on right now it's going to show up like this io io otg so we know it's on com 9 if we're on windows 10 which most people probably will be on this will show up as usb serial port and then it'll say the com number so what you want to do is just get the number type in the number here very important, don't type in the COM part, just type in the number. So we hit OK. And then uh, this is just asking you what size of panels that we have. Uh, most people are going to have um, the P3 to P6. If you have the pinball version, though, then you want to hit um, no. But in this case, we're going to hit yes. OK, then it's going to confirm the location of LED Blinky. That was on that C drive, if you remember. So we'll hit yes. Okay, and we're only using um, Pixelcade for uh, LED Blinky for Pixelcade. We're not using it for button control, so we'll hit yes. And then here we want to tell it our arcade front end. So for right now, let's just pick CoinOps. And we ne need to tell it where CoinOps is. So let's look for coinops.exe. It's then going to copy over a special version of a file called RetroFE, which CoinOps uses. That's been modified to work with Pixelcade, so let's hit OK. And we're all good. Now, some people, now if you happen to be running multiple front ends, that's not a problem. What you can do is go back to Pixelcade files and look for this thing called Pixelcade Arcade Front End Setup Wizard. So let's say, for example, we're running CoinOps and Hyperspin, which is what I happen to be running. So we're going to run that wizard again. Again, it's going to confirm where LED Blinky is at. Ask the same question here. Let's hit yes. And then now, instead of hitting coin ops, we'll just hit hyperspin or any other front end that you want to set up. Okay, so it's going to guess where hyperspin is at. Um, that's actually correct, but let's just say for the sake of argument that it wasn't, hit no. And then what you're going to do is you're going to tell the program where hyperspin is. Okay, so it's there. And then it's going to ask you where your main installation is. So again, this is correct, but we're going to pretend it's not and hit no. 
So you'd go to emulators, wherever your MAME install is. Uh, if you're, it doesn't matter if 64 or 32-bit, or just pick one of them. And then it has to generate this thing called the MAME.XML. This is something that LED Blinky needs actually. So we'll just let that run. Okay, generated it. And now we are good to go there. So now we can use hyperspin. So you could just repeat that for all the front ends that you happen to be using. And we can do a little a test here actually. So let's go here. Let's look for Pixelcade marquee. We're gonna launch this thing called a listener. This will get launched to your startup program. So we'll always run up on, on startup. And as long as you see connected, then you know everything is fine. So just go ahead and keep this minimized. And then as a little test here, before we launch our front end, we can go to the, um, the artwork browser. And then what you can do here is you can just go click on arcade marquees and then just click on any of these. And if everything is working, you'll see Pixelcade change and update. Just hit display, don't hit save. Okay. So now that we've got things working, you can go ahead and try your arcade front end. Now let's go ahead and launch your front end. Uh, in this case, we'll do coin ops. And then as you scroll through the games, Pixelcade will update automatically.